I decided that today is the day that I am going to make this video. If you've been watching my grocery hauls specifically, you, you know, in the past couple of weeks, you would have heard me talking about having to go to the parks or doing picnics a lot and um, needing to be out of the house a lot. And I would just push it aside and say, I will do another video about that later. I <laughs> wasn't going to touch on it then. And so now this is later. This is it. Um, I didn't want to say anything until it was official and final, but it's final now. We have to move. Now, if it was our choice, it would be totally like a totally different thing. It's not our choice at all. So we're renters. So we don't own our home. And, um, you know, basically when you're a renter, you're at the mercy of your landlord. And I think there was probably a period of time when if you were a good tenant and you took good care of the home and you paid your rent on time, you know, you could stay put for a while. Now things have really changed in the housing market. Um, a lot of people are being displaced right now. We're definitely not alone or in a small group <laughs> by any means. It's quite large. Long story short, our landlords came to us in May and they said to us, um, you know, we need to sell the house. We can no longer keep, you know, this income property. And so it's been a stressful month. We have had open houses weekly and um, viewings of the home some weeks daily. It's been really, really tiring. So hence all the picnics. Technically, legally, a tenant in British Columbia can stay, but like through a viewing or through an open house. But our, our landlord really pushed for us not to be here. And that especially for the open houses. And then they're like, oh, you can stay for the viewings that you can stay for. It's like, well, actually I can stay for both, but we're going to try to make this not a battle, you know, like try to keep the peace. And I really started to think of, you know, at first we wanted to stay because of our possessions and during like open homes, like how are they going to be able to make sure things aren't taken? Um, but then as he was fighting me to not be here for those, I started to think about my kid's psyche and how it would be really potentially, and quite a, I think it's quite a safe assumption, hard on the children to see strangers coming into their home, viewing their rooms, viewing, you know, their safe place, their home, and making comments and, you know, just having strangers in and out. And I thought, you know what, we're just going to have to secure our belongings that we're worried about being taken and, and we need to leave. So we had to change a heart on that and because I didn't want to hurt my kids. It's already a hard time for, for children because it's, um, it's a big change. They don't know if they're going to have to change schools, neighborhoods, plus their parents, like they can often sense your stress. So I didn't want to make it any worse for them. So we left. And so there were times where we would be out of the house, you know, five days a week, sometimes for two hours, sometimes just for an hour, but it was a lot. So a lot of park and plays, we went bowling, we went to the, to the ocean, to Stanley Park, we went to lots of different places. My goal was to make the best of it and to make it fun for them, even though it was so challenging. All right, so where do we go from here? So the house has officially sold. We got notice this week. We have about two and a half months to move out. So the good news is no more open houses or viewings. The good news also is, is I don't need to be double-minded. Are we staying? Are we going? Because maybe the house wouldn't sell. And actually after the last interest rate hike, I actually thought it's, <laughs> it's probably not going to sell. Boy, was I wrong. But, um, you know, so at least now I know that yes, we're having to move. And also with that, I don't know about other places, uh, but in British Columbia, if a person buys a home and they are an investor, 
they have to let you stay. They're not allowed to like, like evict you. They have to, in good faith, say that they are going to move in. And if you catch them and, you know, lying, they actually owe you a year's rent. So it's actually worth scoping out. But anyways, so we have two and a half months because we know for sure now this person's not an investor. We have received our notice to end tenancy. And uh, yeah, it will be out two and a half months. So we are very, very busy looking and researching properties. I'm actually going to have to like maybe put a time limit each day because I'm finding that I'm kind of going like almost like down a rabbit hole where you're just scrolling and looking and seeing how many different ways can you reword what you're looking for. Because if you can't find it, it's like, oh, well, maybe it's there's a different site I can find them on or maybe something new came up on marketplace or another another site. So I'm finding that I'm not as productive as I actually need to be. I need to be purging. I need to be kind of cleaning up things and start packing. But I'm like just kind of always like thinking I need to find a place to move first. So I think I'm going to have to put some time slots at the beginning of the day and the end of the day and then um, know that those are my times and in between I need I need to live my life. So that's my plan for that. And um, yes, so what you'll see different on my channel now is specifically with the groceries, which pretty much is my channel anyways. Uh, it's, I need to be shopping as if I'm moving because I am. I just don't know when. So I'm going to have to be really um, going through and new, using up everything I own so that I don't have to bring as much with me. So I'm the kind of person that I naturally like to not necessarily stockpile because I don't have room to stockpile, but if there's an item on sale that I know we will use, I'll often buy it even if we don't need it because I'd rather pay less. So I, I can't do that. Um, I need to try to use up all the little like boxes of crackers and all, all the little this is and that's that are in the freezer that kind of just get forgotten and, and really make sure that, um, yeah, not to, not to overpurchase. It's hard because we're a family of six and I also don't want to, like, we may be here for two more months. So I don't want to be like just having like <laughs> slim pickings, like, oh, I need to use up all this spaghetti. So it's spaghetti again. I don't want to be like that because I know I'm going to have to be like that at the end because I won't want to move it. But I don't know. So you may see a little bit of a change with my grocery hauls. Um, <laughs> I just had this thought, though. Maybe you'll see the opposite. I may be like comfort buying. <laughs> I mean, like three tubs of ice cream this week. Woo <laughs> I hope not. I'll have to... Uh... You know, that's a very realistic possibility. I guess uh, we'll wait and see what happens. What my plan is, is to use up things and just see what I have because, you know, you don't want to, like, you're going to have to pack and move some food items, especially the staples like spices, but uh, I just, I can't, um, I can't have multiple boxes of crackers just because they're on sale, just in case I have to move in a few weeks because sometimes places, you know, now, legally, since I've been given notice, I think I only have to give 10 days notice. So as soon as I find a place, I, if that new like owner wants me to move in really quick, I actually can. So I'm <laughs> going to start saving all my boxes and uh, get myself to work. I think I'm going to do um, another video later more about the rental situation in my community and um, the, the rules and the regulations that are upon us as renters. But for now, I just wanted to let you know why all the little comments about parks and having to get out of the house and, um, why some things may be looking different or I may look like a little bit more stressed, uh, just to give you a heads up about that. So house was for sale, house has sold, and I am being forced to move, which I hate doing. I hate moving. I really wish I had that 
spirit in me of a loving adventure. <laughs> But I don't like change. So, you know, some people like they enjoy moving. They actually choose to move and choose to go try out a different city or an area of town. And I'm kind of like, I'd rather just stay put. Yeah. When you're a renter, you don't have that option. But in this place, we only lived for four and a bit years. So the home that I um, lived in in Vancouver, we were there for 10 years and then um, when we moved here to Surrey, it was seven years and one home and now four years here. So anyways, I'll go more into detail about that in the future. I just want to do this uh, quick video before I go and get my kids and tell you what is up. All right. Take care, everybody.